A teenager refused to let brain cancer stop her dream of playing college basketball. Months after playing in her first game, 19-year-old Lauren Hill has died. Rebecca Smith has a look at the impact she leaves behind. I've always wanted to make a difference. And <laughs> like, you know, because you always kind of want to leave an impact on the world. From the court of a small Cincinnati college, basketball player Lauren Hill made a big impression on the world. Lauren was told she had a rare and terminal form of brain cancer while just a senior in high school. I never gave up for a second, even when they told me that, you know, I have a terminal diagnosis. And I never for a second thought about sitting down and, like, just not living life anymore. Despite the odds, Lauren continued her basketball career. As a freshman at Mount St. Joseph, knowing her days were numbered, her coaches petitioned the NCAA to let them play their first game of the season two weeks early. I love the roar of the crowd and the bouncing of the balls and the squeaking of the shoes and people working hard and, you know, fighting. And I just can't wait to be standing on this court in a basketball uniform with the number 22. In front of more than 10,000 fans, Lauren got her chance to play, even scoring a basket in her first college game. I was surprised because I'm like pumped with energy right now, and I don't know where it came from, but I was just so excited and ready to score. I was ready for that basket. Off the court, Lauren had big dreams too. She raised more than a million dollars for cancer research. Now that more people know about the story, and awareness for DIPG. I just, I'm so happy that people know about it now. Rebecca Smith, WKYT. The Cincinnati Reds will hold a moment of silence at tonight's baseball game in honor of Lauren Hill.